you know, I'd like to hear from, from each of the panelists as to how, you, how artists are using their, your service, how you would recommend they use your service, and how, how does that impact them financially? Seth, you want to start? Sure. Um, <clears throat> first off, we've got Jordan out of iTunes who does artist relations for us, and he's probably more equipped to talk about this than me. But um, I think what we're offering artists, and we've had everybody from Snoop Dogg to Lady Antebellum to Mike Posner to 8-Track, um, come onto Turntable, um, release new material, um, have album listening parties, just show up and, and start uh, DJing music that inspires them. You know, for rooms right now that we've sort of capped to 200, 250 people. Um, we have something called Turntable Tuesdays where we have a new artist, um, you know, every Tuesday show up. Um, a couple things happen. Um, early on, there was a lot of sort of pushback. Of, you know, 200 people, I want 2,000 people. The reason why we cap it at 200 is really um, to preserve a level of intimacy. If you use Turntable, there's a, there's a pretty prominent chat component. If you have more than 200 people, it just becomes noisy. Um, early on, um, I remember when Diplo showed up, suddenly there were four other Diplos that claimed to be Diplo, and it was a total clusterfuck. Um, so we had to verify accounts, and so you know, only Diplo, the real Diplo, has an avatar that is Diplo. No one else can get that. Um, what we offer to musicians, we say, look, this is CBGB, not Madison Square Garden. Um, this is Prince playing at somebody's home in Malibu, um, not a big venue. And, and I think they respond to that. I think they like the immediacy. It's real time. It's live. It's not like um, I'm you know, tweeting out what music I'm listening to. Um, so you have that experience. You can chat with your fans. Um, I think it's pretty gratifying. The, the other thing that I think um, comes into play that I don't think you reflect when you talk about sort of you know, small media versus mass media is these artists have become mass media, right? They've got 1 million, 5 million, 10 million Twitter followers and X many likes on Facebook. And so when they do something, and it's not just Justin Bieber and Lady Gaga, when they come in into an experience, and whether it's Get Glue or it's Shazam or it's Spotify or it's Turntable or anybody else, they bring with them their fans. 